in August, I had a chance to go to the Reagan Library where I laid out a strategy to destroy ISIS, not to contain it, not to make it a law enforcement exercise, but to realize that this is the threat of our time, that we need serious leadership to be able to destroy ISIS. And if we do, we'll create a more peaceful world. And it starts by arming the Kurds directly, with this, which this president refuses to do. It requires embedding our troops that are already in Iraq to be inside the, Ara the Iraqi military, to help them, to fortify them, to rebuild that military so that it can create security in a post-ISIS world. It requires re-engaging with the Sunni tribal leaders that by doing so created the surge that led to a fragile but secure Iraq the day that Barack Obama was, was uh, elected President of the United States. It requires safe zones in Syria. If we're serious about the humanitarian crisis that exists, and I believe as Americans we have a heart for people, four million refugees that are in refugee camps by and large, a breeding ground for Islamic terrorism if we do nothing, if we care about them, then we should have safe zones there. And we should get our Arab friends to be able to provide financial support to create a unified force, not just disparate forces, but a unified force to destroy ISIS and bring about a political settlement where Assad leads. And that means we need a no-fly zone in Syria as well. For those that are worried, oh my gosh, that might offend Vladimir Putin, so be it. Putin should be more worried about our air superiority than we should be worried about his. The simple fact is when we pull back, voids are filled. And they're filled by these asymmetric threats of terror and by nation states seeing America's weakness as a chance to move forward and reestablish them in places they don't deserve to be. Donald Trump may like Vladimir Putin because he praised him. And that's the great thing to do. You can't, the best thing you can do with Trump is say something nice about him. He immediately like, thinks you're a wonderful person. <laughs> Putin may think that, but he's wrong. He's wrong, and Trump may think that about Putin, but he's wrong. He is a bully. He's not a force for good. The United States needs to lead. And the speech I gave at the Reagan Library was based on the fact that I believe we need to restore peace through strength once again in our country.